Now this coming up, parents of a high school boys baseball team forced to tear down their new sports facility because it's unfair to the girls. One of those parents here with outrage on deck next. I got to hear this. All right, parents of a high school baseball team in Las Vegas tried for two years to build a sports facility for their students. They finally succeeded building a modest sports shed to store equipment, only to be ordered to tear it down because the girls did not have one like that. Carl Pestrone is a member of the Arborview Booster Club, and his son plays on the baseball team. So, Carl, you wanted to build this. You were open to doing something for the girls, but it's you guys that raised the money to build something, correct? Correct. Actually, this was uh, that shed was actually donated by a local business um, that was going out of business selling it, and they ended up with these um, preformed uh, engineered slabs and they came out and in one day tilted the structure that you see. Now it took some time to get it to look like that, but uh, that's correct. So you get it constructed, the, they say, well, that doesn't comply. It's not fair to the girls, so take it down. In fact, we're gonna charge you to take it down and out of your fund comes how much money? Correct, they took, uh, the total cost is $21,000 and um, we didn't have the whole $21,000 uh, in our fund. It's totally fundraised, fundraisers by the kids. And uh, so they took $10,000 out of the Arborview Baseball Fund, and the other $11,000 actually is coming out of the high school fund. To take it down after you put it up. They say, it's not, it's, they say it doesn't comply because girls don't have one too. What's your reaction to that? Well, um, you know, uh, they were waving the Title IX flag. And actually, uh, we've, because of what's going on right now, we've actually getting some advice, I won't say legal advice, but from some people supposedly in the know, that they're saying actual Title IX is being misinterpreted here and being misused. And they're saying that Title IX really applies to government funds. In other words, of course, if Clark, Clark County School District buys the girls' bats, they have to buy the boys' bats. If they buy the boys' right. Um, you know, uniforms, and then they have to do that for the girls. But right. private funds is a different story. Right. And, and by the way, Carl, uh, I have two girls. I have nothing against girls' sports. They're, they're both athletes, and neither do you, I'm sure. But girls are even better at fundraising for the most part than boys. They're more enthusiastic, more dedicated, and I'll be sexist in saying that. I've noticed it. I've tried to do it for both. So they can raise their own. Are they resentful of you, or is this all coming from the district? This is all coming from the district. Uh, the girls, uh, you know that uh, you have the drawings of the uh, baseball facility, and we were actually building it as joint use. We give it, uh, we were building it totally our private funds. The top section was for the girls. Um, the girls were like, we really don't care. Um, but the uh, Clark County School District administration as well, it's really not up to the coaches because you know the coach could be you know next year, two years right. down the road. And then it's not fair to the girls. And, 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 you know, we're fine with that. But, I mean, you can it, see the, the pictures of our field and the amount of time and energy exactly. into that field to make it look the way it looks. And to get the community to go together to support a team, I think is a fantastic thing. And I cannot believe it's costing uh, thousands of dollars to undo it. Carl Pastrone, uh, thanks so much for joining us. Your son's on the baseball team, and you guys are out $10,000. Thanks, Carl. We'll look for a resolve here, and we'll come back to you. Thank you. All right, coming up straight ahead. By the way, we contacted the district, no comment. Coming up